Praise the name of the Lord. Hosanna, blessed be the rock of our salvation. Praise God. Let me use this opportunity to greet all of us who are in the house, God's wonderful people. In spite of the inclement weather, God has blessed us that we can be here, and I believe he will bless us, take us through the service, and take us home safely. Praise the name of the Lord. So I greet all of you who are here. I also want to greet those who are joining us via the internet. May the Lord bless you as we worship together today. I invite us to turn our Bibles to the book of Acts chapter 26. Acts 26 as we go into our morning's reading. Acts 26, we'll read verses 13 to 29. I'll read as you follow, could we all stand? Acts 26, beginning at 13, and we'll go through to 29. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. 16. But arise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith, that is in me. 19. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but showed first unto them of Damascus, and at Jerusalem, and throughout all the coasts of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God, and do works meet for repentance. 21. For these causes the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continued unto this day, witnessing both, both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come, that Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. 24. And as he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself, much learning doth make thee mad. But he said, I am not mad, most noble Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. For the king knoweth of these things before whom I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me. To be a Christian, verse 29, and there will stop. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, 
but also all that hear me this day were both almost and altogether such as I am, except these bonds. This is a portion of God's word. Let us honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I invite us to stand one more time. We, at this time, we are going into the ministry of the word. And it is my privilege and pleasure to present to us at this time our Bishop Ralston Cook. Receive him in the name of the Lord, Bishop Coke. Thank you, Sister Coke. Thank you, Deacon Thomas. Thank you, our mother, Sister Nora Thomas. And of course, our praise and worship leader, Sister Henry Evangelist Henry. Let me take time out this morning to greet uh, all the officers, Deacon Thomas, Sister Henry, Sister Nora, Sister Mullins. Of course, my own dear wife, Sister Coke. All the members who are here, not very many this morning, but we are very happy that you took time out. You're here. And we really want to thank God that you have made the effort. Want to thank God for musician, loan musician, and our technician, loan technician, videographer. Um, but God is good. He is here. And um, we really want to thank him that he has spared us one more time, and we are here to worship him. Amen. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. My heart sings. His praise again. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. the Lamb, my heart, hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty deliverer, hallelujah, praise the Lamb, for he alone is worthy to receive all praise and glory lift him higher with one accord For he 
alone is worthy to receive all praise and glory. Lift him higher with one accord. in this house we give him praise and worship we give him praise and worship come on everybody we give our God praise and worship and we're asking the viewers to join with us all over all over all over hallelujah Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Oh. Come on, everybody. Let's lift our voice in one accord. Ah. We come to lift him higher with one accord. Lift your come on, we worship him, everybody. Just lift a hand in the air and shout hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship God, we worship God, we worship God, we praise the Lamb, we lift up the Lamb of Calvary, hallelujah. For he alone, he alone. He alone is worthy. Hallelujah. That's why we left our home this morning. Glory be to the Son of the living God. Ah, we have entered in His gates with thanksgiving in our heart. And we have walked into His courts with praise. We're here to be thankful unto him and to praise his name. Glory be to the son of the living God. Ah, ah, we come to lift him up. We come to praise him. The 
it is raining all over but our God is worthy raise those hands wave them in celebration of the goodness of God hallelujah just a handful of us but it doesn't matter Paul and Silas sung and prayed and lift up their voices unto God until God responded. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ulobo Sandaroba! He will respond. He will respond to us. Oh, 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 we lift our voices. With one accord. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Let it come up out of your spirit this morning. Let it come up. Oh, we come to worship in spirit and in truth. My God, my God, He will come to somebody. He will come to somebody. He will come to somebody as we worship him. He will come with healing. He will come with deliverance. He will come with breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chains will be burst asunder as we worship him on this rainy morning in our island home jamaica land we love hallelujah whoa whoa hallelujah praise the lamb hallelujah praise the lamb my heart sings his praise again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Praise Him. Oh, oh God. We lift you up this morning. Lift Him up with me, everybody. If you're sitting at home, stand up in your living room. Oh, and let your voice be heard. And if you're in the house of God, raise your hand and freely give praises. For he's worthy. He alone. Thank you. Just reflect on something that God Almighty delivered you from. COVID is raging, but we are still here. We are still here saying hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, you, sir. If we only come here to praise God today, it will be all right. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, sir. Worship God, people of God. Chains have been broken for you. My God Almighty. You have been delivered by the power of Almighty God. And so you have every, every, every right to say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My heart sings. My heart sings. We push back depression. And we push back every heaviness. And we come with a garment of praise this morning. Oh, 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 our oh, God, we worship you. Praise God. Praise God. Let his fire fall in our soul. Warm our spirit. Warm up our soul with his rich, powerful presence. 
hallelujah some people couldn't venture out but we are here and if you're joining in praise God with us for we are a people of prayers we are a people of prayers and we are a people of power we love to praise God when the rain is falling our sun is shining we love to praise our God hallelujah hallelujah for when we praise him the enemy is driven back when we praise God the earth will yield or increase when we praise God he brings healing he brings deliverance he come into our circumstances and he turn things around this is the God whom we serve he inhabits the praises of his people Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. My heart uh, sings uh, His praise again. Oh, oh, again and again. My heart sings uh, His praise again. Just worship in the Spirit and watch what God will do. For the few of us that are assembled, who know Bakosa? Ila ba 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 kasaka ta ta ta. As we worship God, circumstances are being dealt with by the power of Almighty God. Hey hey, there is a rich anointing. There is a rich power. Bask in this. Bask in it. Rejoice in it. Free up yourself in this atmosphere. Let God Almighty get the glory that is due unto Him. For He alone is worthy. Just raise your hand and worship God. And if you feel by the power of the Holy Spirit to slip into, into worshiping in tongues, do so. But there is an anointing in the house. My heart sings. Oh, Kosakata. Devil want to come heap up burden and all the negatives that we went through in the past week and months. But my heart sings. Come on. My heart sings his prayers again. Come on. My, my heart sings. His praise again. His wonders. His miracles. His mighty works. On my behalf, my heart sings His praise again. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh God, we worship God. When my back was against the wall, I can sing his praise again. We give him glory this morning. We give God praise this hour. We celebrate him for his goodness. Hallelujah. Come on, don't be afraid. Open your mouth. God Almighty want to shatter something that the enemy is trying to close in on you with. But when we give praises unto God, He comes near, He comes near, and He inhabits the praises of Israel. Oh, can we worship God? Praise must wait on God in Zion. For He loveth the gates of Zion, that all the dwellings of Jacob, my heart sings. Can we worship God? Somebody, my heart sings His praise again. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Let something come out of your mouth, out of your spirit. Come on, everybody, just feel a voice. 
but God can shake the place. Just a handful of us, but God can shake the place in response to our praises unto Him. Hallelujah! 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 Come on, everybody, don't be afraid. You have children. You have people that the enemy want to torture. But as we praise God, something will happen. As we worship God, something will happen. As we bless God, something will give. As we praise God, the enemy must back up. Lord God, we worship you this hour. My heart sings. Come on, let something rise up out of your spirit. Matori ba 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 ba, korobosa, ilabos andarabako, ili andarababa ba. We worship God in the house with the holy angels who are here in service with us we worship god we worship god how great the word how great the word then sings my soul how great the word how great the word ah we want to be reckless with our praises today we want to be reckless with our praises today we want to be unhindered as we praise god today that's something that has been following us uh, that the almighty will intervene as we praise him my heart sings his praises again that is her terms we gone in our heavenly places with our prayers when we begin to shout hallelujah we lift it a little higher praise him and the loud sounding symbols let everything that has bread praise god there's a spirit of worship all over this building this morning we have so much so much so much wherever you're at watching us you have much to praise and to thank God for we worship God Just give us a little softer, softer music there, Brother Robert. Just a little softer. Can somebody just raise their hand? Uh, whoa, whoa, Give him worship in the house, everybody. Let worship come up. Worship will change you if nothing else can change you. Ayako sakata, kura bakasakata. If nothing else can reach you, some people fall down flat. And their faces. Kabo Saka Kuribaka Sandaraba Baba Baba What an atmosphere What an atmosphere in the house. Come on, spiritually plug in. If you're not spiritually connect with this, can't get nothing out of this. Kuraba kasaka, kondoraba baba baba. 
spiritual depth we're going in now. Deep call it unto deep, a deep place. Moving into a realm where the Spirit of Almighty God will dictate how his service must, how the service, how the service must, how the service, how the service, how the service must run. We're running into a realm. Moving into a realm where the Spirit of Almighty God will dictate. Kura masakata kita yababa keto ramasakata ya kura mamakasa ita laba koso. Spiritual things are spiritually deserved. Konda ilaba kola moramasa keta rabaka moramasa ilibasaka. Some people used to serve this a certain way. I serify you when the Holy Spirit shift it on you. Koto Ramasa, Ramasa Kataya, Irabaka Saka, Kuramasaya, Eyomosondo, Kain Masakataya, Ribababababakasa, Kuramasaya, Irimasakata. Wonder what the Spirit of God has brought for us individually today. To deposit in each of us. I ayaba kemo so rema namasaya keta yaba baba. Those who are watching us, plug into what is happening in Alice right now. Ila masaya ke lobo sanda baba 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 baba. There's an anointing flowing from here. Kura basaka. Healing is in it. Saving grace is in it. Deliverance is in it. Glory be to the Son of God. Breaking down prison doors is in it. Urabasakata. Muramasakata tayababa. Oh, ye masa, ye yo masa, ilama kasakata ya, raboko shakata. Something is going to shift for somebody in this service today. Something is not going to be the same for somebody after this service. In the name of Jesus. I declare it in the name of Jesus and I speak as a servant of God. I speak as one who is under the anointing of the Holy Spirit that something is going to shift as of today for somebody in this worship service by the power of Almighty God. Ulo. Where are you, sir? Korabasa. 
Koraba Sakatata. Kuraba Sanda da Baba Baba Baba. Kuraba Sakata. He's in his house. He's in his house. Holy Spirit is in his house. Kuraba Sakata. Don't worry, don't worry about the preaching part. Some people are just a preaching. Don't worry about the preaching part. Let the spirit of Almighty God penetrate your soul right now. Kurama Sakata and unearth something and remove something and operate on something. In the name of Jesus, under the anointing of the power of Almighty God. Some foundations, some foundations want to shake up and root up and free up some people in the power of Almighty God. Start a movement by the power of Almighty God where miracles, healing, and breakthroughs, demonic powers are put under subjection by the power of Almighty God. Yes, sir. For as soon as Zion travels, she brings forth her children. Ula, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Power of Almighty God to be a demonstration to allow the oppressed to go free to lose every burden this is a house of almighty God mighty things must happen in her powerful things must happen in Isaiah Oy, 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 oy. God Almighty is getting ready to move. Ready to move in Zion. Can we worship God somebody? Can we worship our God somebody? Can we free up ourselves a little and say, yes, Lord, pour out. In a Zion, we waited long. We waiting on you for Zion to be shaken, for something to give, for a mighty move of God, amen, to be seen in your house, among your people, silencing the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. There are you, sir. Mosakotori. My heart sings his praise again. My heart sings God's praise again. Can we worship God? Ah, yeah, 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 come on. Some, something are there to be demolished and God Almighty to put his foot on something. To step on the neck of the devil. Step on the neck of some generational something. 
and crush it in the name of Jesus. Oh, you, sir. Oh, you, Mosakata. We worship God. Come on, somebody. We worship God. Uh, we're going through in the name of Jesus. We just want God to equip us. We just want God to arm us. For we're going through. Let the church say we're going through. We're going through in the name of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. We are going through. We're going through. Messiah. Just wave your hands before God. Something is happening here. Can we shout hallelujah to the Son of God? Yes. Just shout hallelujah in the house of God. Come on, we shout hallelujah everywhere. God must get his praises. God must get what is his. Caesar get enough. Caesar has gotten enough. God Almighty must get what is rightfully his. Hallelujah everybody. Hallelujah everybody. Hallelujah. We worship God. We want his fire in our soul. We want his fire in our belly. The devil won't come heap up some something on us. But we want a fire that is going to burn through. My God Almighty. Ah, God. Just lift your hand. There's so much power and anointing in here. Healing is here. Deliverance is in here. Different something is, is being broken by the presence and power of Almighty God. There, there is a little thought that I want to share with you as we prepare to go home. We give him glory. We give him praise. We sing God's praise again. No matter what the devil is trying to, my heart sings his praise. Get something to sing about. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Can somebody just lift a hand and wave it as a triumph before? Wave it in the name of the Lord. All that you have gone through, you are still here. So wave it and shout, hallelujah. We are standing tall. Let someone say, yes, I am standing tall. Only only because huh? standing tall <laughs> just wave your hand again and shout hallelujah in the name of the Lord Shh. we're standing tall only because he made a way <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I, I'm going to direct you to Acts chapter 27. And uh, I want to read from the 13th verse. The 13th verse. Acts chapter 27. And I'm reading from verse 13. And uh, when the south wind 
blew softly. Supposing that they had obtained their purpose, loosing fence, they sailed close to Crete. But not long after, there arose against it a tempestuous wind called Euraclidon. I'll stop there. I wanted to read much, much further. But we're, we're going to stop there. We're going to stop there for today. I want to talk a little about Jesus, our shelter, in time of storm. Jesus, our shelter. Can you say it with me, beloved? Jesus, our shelter, in time of storm. Storm. Like what? We're now experiencing in our country. <laughs> and across the region, not very many persons in some communities were able to attend the house of God. Why? Because there is a storm. And uh, they are not certain if they will be able to go back home. So they didn't want to risk it. We have here in the word of God. The Apostle Paul, as you've heard um, Sister Coke reading, as he stood uh, before King Agrippa explaining his conversion to the Christian gospel. How he came in contact with the Lord Jesus Christ while he was on his way to Damascus to shut down another church. God Almighty in his mercies rescued him and placed on the apostle a mantle to preach the unsearchable riches of Christ. What a mighty God. And so here he was after making up an appeal to Caesar, the ruler of the Roman Empire. And so he was now on a boat on his way to Italy. But somewhere before they set sail, God Almighty spoke to Paul that a hurricane, a storm was up ahead of them. And so when Paul shared this revelation, the captain didn't pay him any mind because he was just an ordinary prisoner. But though he was considered a prisoner, he was God's servant. He was freed by the power of God. And he was connected to heaven. He could hear from God. Can we worship God? And so Paul said, sir, I perceive that something is up ahead of us. A storm is brewing ahead of us. We're going to be in much danger. The ship will be lost. We will be in danger of our lives. It's not like now when we are hearing the forecast 
and the weather forecast God Almighty through the spirit of God dropped it into the apostle's spirit what a thing when God Almighty can drop certain truths in our spirit what a thing when God can show us the dangers up ahead and to warn us can we worship God? Nobody paid the apostle any mind. So they set seal. And as soon as they set seal, here comes your rockly Dan. I don't know for the few of us who might be sitting in here. There could well be somebody facing a Eurocle Dan. My God Almighty, not a storm with rain, not a storm with dark clouds, not a storm with lightning and thunder, but a satanic Eurocle Dan. But thank God that we have a God that is capable to deal with any and every storm. Can we worship God somebody? It doesn't matter how bad it gets. We have God even when it looks as, as if our life is going to end. We have God. Can we praise God somebody? And even if it gets dark, God knows exactly where we are in this time. So don't show up your hands in the air. Don't give up. For we still have God. Let somebody say we still have God. Come on man, talk like with, with more confidence. I still have God. It might be getting dark, but I still have God. I can still hear from glory. I still have God. Storm clothes might be rising, but somebody say, I still have God. My back might be up against the wall. Oh God, but let somebody say, I still have God. Sometimes all kind of you rackly down, come on us. Come at our bodies. Come in our families. Come in our finances. But we still have God. Come on somebody, we still have God. When you rackly down, touch down. They were not on land where they could run for shelter. The storm had the boat all over the waters. Throw it here, throw it there. 276 persons on board. Every one of them felt at a particular time that they weren't going to make it. Have you been in this storm when you are saying, God Almighty, you have to stop it now? Because if it go on for another day, I don't think I can make it. God Almighty has power to stop it now. And he has power to sustain you while it is raging. So even if you're in a storm and God don't step up and rebuke it, don't despair. For God is still God. Can we worship God somebody? You're not going to go under. Some people feel say, Lord God, what going to happen to me? All going to happen to you is the covering of Almighty God is going to be around you. For he promised to be with you in your going out. Praise God and in your coming in. The water is not going to overcome you. Can somebody worship God with me in the house? So 270 six souls it appeared as if they were going to perish but somewhere in that darkness 
somewhere in those 20 feet waves. Oh, can somebody worship God with me? When everything was thrown overboard, nobody was eating anything. Everybody felt that they were going to be buried at sea. Here comes the servant of God. Can we worship God somebody? God Almighty sent an angel in the middle of the ocean and said, Paul, it shall be well. Can we praise God? Say, Paul, no man's life will be lost. The vessel will be destroyed, Paul, but nobody will drown. If God says nobody is going to drown, nobody will drown. Come hell or high water, your life is going to be spared. If God say it shall be well, let somebody say it shall be well. If God say I am going through, then I am going through. Can we praise God somebody? So Paul stood among the 275 others and said an angel stood by me last night. Storm was raging, but God Almighty sent an angel. Somebody might be going through something but God will send help can we praise God somebody yes it might be rough but God will send help and so the angel touched down on the boat in the middle of the darkness in the middle of the water said to Paul it shall be well Paul all the people you are sailing with, God has given them to you. You are the mouthpiece now. <laughs> For almighty God, can we praise him somebody? Come on, can we praise him somebody? Can we lift our hands and just shout hallelujah? I am here to announce that Jesus is our shelter in the time of storm. It doesn't matter where you're at now. Jesus is our shelter. Jesus is our protector. He will see us through. He will see us through. Paul spoke to these men. And some of them were trying to escape. And before Paul pointed out those who were trying to escape, he said, Sirs, you should have listened to me. And you would have saved yourself of this damage, of this loss. There might be persons who have created a storm around themselves. But God is not going to abandon you. Can we praise God? He's a merciful God. So even if your, you, you rock it on, was started out by your own decision, we still have God. Can we praise God? He's not going to leave you and say, yes, I you started. He is a merciful God. He will come to where you are at and he will intervene. Praise God. And he will help you to weather the storm if he is not rebuked. It. Can we worship God somebody? Can we worship the Lord somebody? Oh, can we bless the name of Jesus? Everybody has their own storm. Everybody goes through storm at one time or another. Some of them we can call on our Lord and immediately they will be rebuked. But there are others 
us that you have to weather the storm. Can we praise God? And when the storm is finished, you will still left standing because you still have some serpent that must be trampled after the storm. Can we worship God, somebody? Come on, can we worship God? Everybody will go through a storm. If it is not now, it is in the future, but we have a savior. Can we praise God? Somebody, we have a Lord who is master of the sea. Can we praise God? He can control every tempest or he will give you the grace to go through every tempest for he is God. He knows where you are at in the dark corners. Can we praise God? Somebody and he will send an angel. He will send somebody to give you a word. A word for the hour. Can we praise God? And so Paul stood up. And he said, God who I serve. Let somebody say, I serve the living God. Come with me everybody. I serve the living God. And so Paul said, the God whom I serve and to whom I belong, send an angel. Can we praise God? Send help in the middle of the storm. He sent help. And the angel said to me, nobody's lives will be lost. Why, oh, I will be spared. Come with me, somebody. I will be spared to show forth the glory of God. I will be spared. Can we praise God? Water came into the boat, but I will be spared. We throw out our food stuff, but I will be spared, for I must continue to praise God. I must continue to preach this gospel. I must continue to lead others to Christ. I must continue to worship. I will be spared. It doesn't matter what you rockly done is coming at me. I will be spared. Let somebody say, because I belong to God, because I am a servant of God, because because I am a child of God. Let someone say I will be spared. Because God is not going to turn his back on me. God is not going to abandon me. God is not going to walk off and leave me. So I will be spared. Can somebody worship God for his goodness? Let somebody say yes I will be spared. Because I am a child of God. And he knows right now where I am at. So the angel touched down right where the apostle Paul was and said, be of good cheer, Paul. In the middle of the storm, yes, be of good cheer. Things not look so good, but be of good cheer. Stir up yourself. Don't let depression swallow you up. Hallelujah. So Paul spoke to the man and he said, be of good cheer, man. Gentlemen, be of good cheer. They were so sunken down so low because they felt they wouldn't see their wives and their children. They weren't going back where they're coming from. But Paul said, be of good cheer. What a thing when you're journeying and you're a child of God in the company. God has an obligation to look out for you. Can we praise God? 275 lives were spared. Why? Because there was a servant of God. There was a child of God traveling with them. What a privilege. What a position to be in. Aren't you happy that you're a child of God? Aren't you happy that you're born again? Aren't you happy that you're blood washed? And that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Can we praise God? And so Paul says after 14 days things were getting dark. Things were getting choppy. They reached a place where the boat could not go any further. 
And Paul says, be of good cheer, brothers. I have heard from God. It shall be well with us. But everybody must stay on board. Everybody must stay on board. Some persons wanted to take things in their own hands. Taking off lifeboat. But a life comes from God. Lifeboat can't help you in a storm. You have to have God. Storm will turn over lifeboat. And it no matter how you can swim, when storm get boisterous, it will drown you. You have to know God. You have to have God. All of us, Sakata. Can we praise God? Don't tell yourself that you can't swim through. You cannot swim through. You need the master of the sea. You need direction from him. Don't take anything in your own hand. You will drown. You will go to the bottom of the ocean. Listen to what God Almighty is saying to you. Can we worship God? The vessel will be damaged. But if you listen to God's instruction, your life will be spared. Can somebody shout yes? Can we worship God? Some people love to take over things and do it by their own wisdom and do it by how they feel and feel that if they cut off the lifeboat here and drop it in the sea, they might be able to reach land. You're not going to reach any land. For there is a 30-foot wave waiting on you. The minute you go in the lifeboat, it just cover you over. Can we worship God? Come on, can we worship God? And Paul said, all of them that are going off, they're going to die. They will die if they leave the ship. The ship will be damaged. But stay on board until you know the directive is given to go to shore. Can we praise God somebody? Some people can swim, but on every water you can swim in. You swim through some already and shark no hit you. You swim through some already and will no swallow you. But stormy water, dangerous water. You no play with storm. You listen to God Almighty. You take your case to God. You wait on God until he ministers to your soul. Can we worship God somebody? Come on, can we give God praise in the house? Can we give God worship in the house? You don't jump off, for you will drown. Hallelujah. Paul said all of them will die. If they leave the ship in the middle of the storm, they are going to die. I want to say to somebody who might be planning something now because of the Euroclidon that has come upon you, stand still and watch God. Stand still and watch God. If you must fast, fast. If you must pray, pray. If it's time to delve into the word of God, delve into it. But don't take anything in your own hand because you will meet shipwreck you will be damaged forever your soul will be lost but if you stay on board if you stay where you can hear the voice of God you will come true when the storm finish you will still be alive and you will be able to trample in the head of serpents in the name of Jesus can we worship God your work is not finished yet and after this time, you must be more powerful. Storm must not weaken you. You must come out when storm is finished. And when serpent tries to destroy you, you shake off serpent in a fire. You mustn't come through storm and want to like serpent destroy you. You must stand up in a serpent head now. You can't go through that the storm or you can't stand up in a serpent head. Can we worship God somebody? Come on, can we worship God somebody? 
the storm no come to destroy you. It come to give you some muscle and to see the manifestation of the power. Can we worship God? The power of Almighty God. After the storm, the calm will come. But you must walk out, my God Almighty, with a fresh anointing on your soul. Can we praise God so that when people start to criticize you, it run off like water and ducks back in the trouble you again when people saw Paul walk after the ship that was broken up and when he reached shore and start to get a little wood serpent lie down in a head say a two week be there through the rain I wait for you but who God bless can we praise God if God bless you you bless I could have 20 poisonous serpent it's same thing where God do to one him a God we to all of them can we praise God somebody when the people saw when the fire Paul drew near to the fire and as him ready to chew off the wood the wicked poisonous serpent fastened onto the hand of the servant of God people who were standing by said this man must be a wicked man for doing come true storm vengeance no allow him to live him still a god dead but if God said me not dead me can't dead it no matter how much serpent wrap up around me Lord God can we praise God we are trampled them we are trampled them we are trampled them in the name of Jesus in the spirit realm we are trampled can we praise God somebody so the man was still alive not yet dead some onlookers were ready to tear him down. You don't know how much onlooker I look on you. And I say, after this, you're done with. If God not say me done with me now, me still will be here as a glory. Me I still will be here as shout hallelujah. For me, I saw something of it show up, show off in my fire. Uncle Fire can't deal with some something. Water not to them, not no. But when fire come, they meet the doom. We have some fire to make up. In the name of Jesus, I'm here help make up here. For we have some serpent lie down and wait on some of us. But the fire will be made up by then. Can we worship God somebody? Come on, can we worship God somebody? The devil want to say, God, you're a liar. Because you said no man's life would be lost. So let me take out the one that brought the message. I'll let the other people say, say what I'm saying? Not never go so. But God Almighty is God. Can we shout hallelujah in the house? 275 others were there. And it was the apostle Paul. The serpent singled out. Mudaba saka. Kuraba baba sandara baba. Hulo! Storm could not drown that the serpent. Because... He had a, the serpent had a mandate. So under the apostle Paul, he must bite. Bit into the man's flesh. And the people them say, yes, this man was a wicked man. But though he escaped the sea, storm and sea and a play play. And the people them said, though he came through that storm, Vengeance suffered him not to live. He didn't die yet, you know. And the apostle Paul went over to the fire with the serpent hung up on his hand and a writhe and a, with his fangs in his hand. The fangs of the serpent plunge into the man's arm. Walk with it over the fire. Good when you can't have fire after storm, you know. Sometimes when storm finish, every wood is wet. And water soak. But when you can't get a fire after a storm, 
You're well connected. And so they, they, they walk over with the serpent on his hand and shake him off in a fire. Some people want pet serpent, but me no want no pet serpent. Fire for the enemy. Ulobo, can we praise God somebody? Shook him off in the fire. And the people were waiting now to see if he might go drop and die. And stay there, watch. And stay there, watch. Expect some of us to melt out and turn nothing. But not if God Almighty is in heaven. They were open up the opening up their eyes, staring at Paul. So any moment now, it must drop. When this kind of serpent bites you, you can't live. Huh? But Jesus said you will take up deadly things. Serpent. Some of you not even know something where some of you take up. You handle some something and go through some something and you don't know where you take up. You don't know where you take up a deal with. God Almighty armor you that the poisonous serpents them can do you nothing at all. Oh Lord, can we praise God somebody? Jesus is our shelter. He's our shelter. For storm not only come with water, serpent come with it too. And you must expect say after storm finish, one serpent somewhere in the wood taking on the color of what you're dealing with. And you better know, say, a God of it energize you and insulate you that you can let a serpent in a fire. Bula massacre. Can we praise God somebody? Come on, can we praise God somebody? Can we shout hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? Oh, oh, let me close. There is one bird, there is one bird that is not afraid of storm. One bird in the family of birds, one bird, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle. We want some more eagle people that when the storms are coming, you spread your wings and let the power of this, the wind carry you to one next level. Don't come out of the storm less than how you go in it. Don't come out of the storm lower than where you were when it started. Can we worship God somebody? Come on, can we worship God somebody? When the storm is over, you must be higher. Yes, you must be at another level. Storm finish. The devil thought that him get Paul where he wanted him. Little did he know that Paul heard from heaven. Lord, 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 just a day or two before, God Almighty said to Paul, nobody's life will be lost. I could have 100 serpents come at him. Nobody's life would be lost. Praise God, somebody. Praise God, somebody. Are you going to believe God? Huh? Huh? Or when you see the serpent on your hand, will you become terrified and say, Lord, God, me done with. Are you going to remember, say, God said, nobody's life shall be lost. If anybody's life is going to be lost, it's not yours. It is somebody who interfered with you. 
For you get a word already. And God not take back word. Can we worship God somebody? Hallelujah. And so even in the midst of the storm, I'm expecting to hear from God. And when I hear, it shall be well. But God is not afraid of storm. Walked into any storm. Rebuke any storm. Cover you through any storm. Because he is God. Winds and waves obey him. When he said peace. Be still. And there are those who will allow you to weather the storm. But you're not going to come out where you started. You're going to come out higher. Praise God somebody. Praise God somebody. And the serpents that are waiting after this time better beware. Because you're coming out of it. My God. You're coming out of it. With an anointing to destroy serpents. So they better beware. Stand with me everywhere please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. My God, Jesus is the shelter for every single one of us in here. Not just from the storm that is brewing now, but from every other storm. I heard one songwriter say, Will your anchor holds in the storms of life? You have some storms that are called storms of life. When they close and fall, their wings of strife and the cable strain. Huh? All kind of something happening when the, when the storms of life are coming at you and I. But we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll fastened to the rock which cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love hallelujah we're going to do that him and we're all going to pray him 180 from the redemption as we blend our voices together, we're going to sing this song of triumph and we're going to declare it in the atmosphere that we have an anchor that keeps the soul. We want every serpent that is coming near to hear that we have an anchor. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life, when the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tide lifts and the cable strain, will your anchor shift or firm remain? Oh, we have an anchor that keeps. It is steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fast and to the rock which cannot move. Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. It is safely moored till the storm withstand. For it is well secured by the Savior's hand. The cables pass from his heart to mine can defy the blast through strength divine. Oh, we While the beat, it is fast and to the rock which cannot move. Ground 
get firm and deep in our Savior's love. It will firmly hold in the streets of fear when the breakers have told the reef is near. Though the tempest rave and the wild winds blow, not an angry wave shall our bark overflow. sin will soon pass. But every one of us sitting in here have storms of life. And the script, the songwriter said, will your rank a hole in the storm? Not storms, storms of life. When the clouds unfold their wings of strife, it is going to happen. But will your anchor still hold, firmly hold? Huh? Will it hold in the storms of life? Hallelujah! Glory be to God. The cables will strain sometimes when the weight gets on it. When the wind 
I blew against the boat and his cables them stretch out. Will it anchor hold? Will it hold? We're going to pray everywhere. And at the end, Sister Mullins will pray the closing prayer. Every one of us, somebody anchor might be on that strain right now. But will it hold? Will it hold? I heard one song where they said, the anchor hold, though my ship is battered. Battered, you know, but something keeps the anchor gripping the rock, which is Christ Jesus, our Lord. Everybody, prior time, prior time. Oh God, Jesus, our shelter. In time of storm, everywhere, everybody. Oh God. Oh God. It's good to know him before this storm. Because if you don't know him in before this storm, when this storm comes, you will know where to turn. Everybody, let us pray. God bless those of you who have been tuning in by way of the social media. We really want to thank God for those who have been on board with us today, a glorious day. Though we are hearing of this situation facing our country, but we are anchoring our soul in the God of heaven. And so just now we're going to be leaving. There might be those of you who have been on board with us, and um, we know some of you have been inquiring as to what you can do to make your input into this worship and into this ministry. I think our technician were able to put something up the last time, and um, if that isn't so, you can just put it in the chat. We will find a way to give you a response, but... For, um, we are also asking those of you who have been watching to subscribe because if you do that, the number will continue to grow and you will be sensitized as soon as we are putting up anything. So we are happy you are on board and if you are being blessed, you need to let us know. Thank God again for another wonderful day of worship and since it is raining, we are not going to allow anybody to stay any longer. We want to make sure you go home and you're in the confine and the safety of that wonderful place that God has blessed you with. So let us stand as we pronounce the benediction. Oh, yeah,